YouTube, TTC, Dirty Bird Nation, Rise Up Nation, what's good? It's the Sergeant back at it with another vid, coming back at y'all with another video, checking in with everybody. Uh, what are your reactions over the combine? Uh, a lot of people saying yes to this person. A lot of people saying no to this person. Uh, some people made some money. Uh, some people uh, took a step back. Some people got exposed and some folks got, you know, uh, pushed up on the the ranking system as, you know, prospects going into this draft, man. Uh, you had some folks didn't perform. Uh, I don't know if it was stage fright. I don't know if they didn't get the proper amount of sleep. It might have been nerves, uh, injuries, you know, diet. Uh, a lot of factors go into uh, performing at this combine in Indianapolis. And some people moved up and some people moved down. But my opinion is don't be fooled by what you saw at this combine. Um, I think the drills were uh, great. Um, seeing these uh, tight ends trying to push the sled was hilarious. Uh, tight ends aren't built and, you know, constructed the way that they used to be. <laughs> Uh, most are like, uh, just, you know, bulked up receivers. They don't have the, uh, the skills or the strength to, to block, to move sleds, to move people. They don't have the lower body strength or the coordination to, to take a sled and, and move it five to 10 yards, you know what I mean? Using their body. So, uh, a lot of people got exposed for not being able to block, um, Footwork, as far as the skill positions, uh, some people look great. Some people, you know, their hips were a little tight. They have things to work on. But the good thing about the combine is you have, you know, uh, a pro day after the combine uh, to improve on the things that you might have lacked on during the, during the combine, during the drills, during the 40, bench press, things like that. Um, you got a second chance on your pro day to say, look, you know, these are my flaws, but I improved on my flaws and that's, that's, a, I, I, I mean, that relates to life a lot too. You know, whatever you did in your past, man, um, whether it be, you know, something negative or something that might not, you know, have, uh, reflected on your true character, you know, you might've been in a desperate situation and did things in the past, uh, that might have tarnished your name. I mean, going along, you know, moving down the road two or three years, you know, you can't make up for those past mistakes, but you can't improve yourself. You can't say, look, you know, I grew from that situation and, you know, I became a better person morally, mentally, physically, uh, you know, in the future, because I, I saw that, you know, this is, this is one of my flaws, but, um, I corrected it, you know, and you might not correct it a hundred percent. You might not, um, be able to, you know, completely just make a huge transformation uh, at the time. But, it, you know, it might take two or three years for you to get yourself right, you know. So that's another thing. Um, looking at this combine, I, I kind of correlated it to life, you know. Um, but Dirty Birds, Dimitrov, Quinn, McKay, Blank, um, time's ticking. Time sick, and we're looking at uh, what, like five, six weeks uh, until it uh, it all goes down. But um, sixteen forty-five, sixteen forty-seven fifty-five. Um, these first three picks, to me, my opinion, they have to be starters. They have to be guys that can make an impact. They have to be players that you can put them in, put uh, into our system that will fit and that. You trust them to make plays. You trust them to be in the right place. Um, you trust them to do their job. So these first three picks, they, they have to be starters. 14 wins in two years. That's all I got to say. 14 wins in two years. So drastic changes have to be made. Uh, with the roster, with personnel, with coaching, uh, they kept you around. You know, Quinn and Dimitrov, so you guys really, really need to uh, fix it. Fix it. Blank already gave y'all the ultimatum, man. It's playoffs or get the hell on. So we'll see what you decide to do. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's the sergeant coming at y'all with another video. Just want to say salute to all the subs out there. Um, shout out to all the military members uh, worldwide. Um, and this whole uh, corona thing is, is, is uh, it's real. You know what I mean? 
So make sure you, you're taking the necessary precautions to keep yourself safe, clean, uh, sterilized. Um, you know, if you're traveling abroad, if you're traveling within the country, hey, just make sure you're uh, staying sanitary. You know what I mean? Um, Sergeant AR checking out. Y'all have a great Wednesday. I'll get up with y'all on the next video. Peace.